welcome back to today's video so i'm going to be sharing a few ways in which you can know uh, if a protective style is damaging your hair especially mini braids so i'm talking much on mini braids because we are on a mini braid challenge on this channel and um so far it's been about two months already for each hair style there is a good side and a not so good side to them that is to say there's a pro or a con for each hair style but for mini braids, there are a few signs you begin to see on your mini braids that might tell you that this hairstyle is not good for me. This hairstyle, I should take them down. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing some of those signs that maybe you're seeing already and you don't actually know what it means. Some of these things I'm going to be saying might really shock you or might really come as a surprise to you. But trust me, it is real. And one of the signs you might begin to see is excessive shedding so even with your hairstyle like i recorded a lot of excessive shedding due to some things i that i shouldn't have done apart from that i don't always have excessive shedding when i'm taking down mini braids but if you start to notice that your mini braids maybe by the time you're moisturizing them you're pulling out some hair strands because braids are made in such a way that it's very difficult for shed hairs to just come right down um on like twists you might get a few strands here and there but to have a lot of excessive like a lot of shedding while the braid is even still on that is a sign that you need to take that hairstyle down you need to check what's going on with your hair the second thing sign that you might begin to notice that should tell you if that's hairstyle you're carrying is actually good or not is if you start experiencing thinning or breakage yes thinning or breakage it's very easy for one's hair to thin out when you have braids yes because of the way they are closely knitted together they they form this bond <laughs> so to say that keeps them close together and if you're not careful that is why i say don't leave your braids in for too long it will begin to form it, it will take that shape and begin to thin out from there but for twists you know twists can be puffy you know it still maintain its fleshy look but braids are not so that is why you see when you install twists you have a full hair but when you install braids like it just shrinks your hair your your entire even if you have full head of hair it shrinks down you know to like nothing if you're not taking care of your braids properly your braids can begin to thin out yes so be careful of that and then number three signs which i feel a lot of us don't even pay attention to is products build up yes <laughs> so for braids one thing i've noticed for braids is that if you've kept your hair your braids in for two to three months without touching it without redoing them you will notice that at the edge of the root where the braid starts from you see all the product build up surrounding it yes so all your moisturization routine all the products you've used for that period they are all accumulating at the base there so if you are if you don't have a routine that helps you to at least refresh your braid maybe once or twice during that three months period you will just be accumulating products at that side and when you have too much product build up there it can cause your hair to break from that point yes it dries out your hair and cause breakage and another thing i've noticed as well is that when you're moisturizing your scalp with braids except if you have very small braids but for the medium size to the chunky size braids the moisture is actually not penetrating the inner section of you know the inner part of the braids like your hands are not getting in because that place is closely knitted together they are closely knit knitted together so the moisture the hydration except you're really going all out to do maximum hydration with heat and all if it's just a normal you know moisturization routine they're really not penetrating the inside of your braids that is why 
you just have to be on top of your moisturization game like you have to be because by the time those product build-ups are gathering here and you're not redoing your hair it's causing more damage and by the time you're moisturizing and the products are not just going in they're just take, sticking out on the edges and that is why you see those um bulk of product build up at the you know surrounding the roots by the time you're taking the hairstyle down so these are some of the things we don't really pay attention to these signs because I mean product build up is normal yes for all hair but you don't find that with twists no matter how long you take twists you don't find that product build up surrounding at the roots because that place is free for twist it is free but for braids you know they are closely tightly you know braided together then another thing is scalp the discomfort like for braids if you go tight uh, maybe even firm you will feel it because you doing a three strand braid this is not twist so twist even if you do it firmly at the roots by the time you you get to the end the roots are already releasing themselves but for braids is the way you keep them that is how they are going to be so if there is any slight discomfort maybe you picked on a hair strand tightly please make sure you're redoing them don't keep it don't say okay i can manage it no you're going to see all that's pulling out from your scalp by the time you're taking that hair start down everything is going to gather at the edge of your hair and you will know that this one is breaking so sometimes it's not shedding it's not that it's shed by itself is that it pulled out from the scalp due to tension don't ignore these signs I'm using braids as a case study because one we are on a mini braid challenge and two braid has some unique characteristics to it that if you are not in that space like you don't give it time you don't give it the time it needs you don't take care of it you're not going to see any length retention yeah that's just the truth the only reason many people who want to go for braids is because it lasts long and of course because life is life in everywhere <laughs> and um, people don't have that much time on their hands to be dealing with their hair so braids is the safest way to run to than twist but stress-free talk about stress-free talk about no tension yes you're gonna get freeze you're gonna get um, tango if you still don't redo your twist but it's still much on the lighter side than for braids these are a few signs that i thought to share with you guys if you're on this braid challenge please if you're going for three months four months redo your braids redo your braids so that you don't come up with stuff like ah it's not working no protective style works they work they do whether it's cornrow twist braid they do you just have to play around how to take care of them you know everyone with their specific and unique way of taking care of their hair you have to figure out how to take care of it so that you can get the maximum benefit out of it um, if you have ever experienced any of these things i've spoken about or if you have any solution any tips put it down in the comment section other people are going to be reading these comments and they, if you don't know who you are helping so this is just from my own perspective I would like to hear from you as well so drop it in the comment section thank you guys for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel i'll see you guys in my next one bye bye